Hi, I'm Phil Burt. Today I'm just going to give a short video on bike replication. So what that is, is you've got a great position. Maybe you've gone for a bike fit, come to see me, and you're really happy with it, but you've got multiple bikes. How do you replicate that position across different bikes? Well, if you come and see me, we use a retool and we digitally measure your bike with this thing called Zin. Two, within two millimeters of accuracy, which is great. And then we can email that report and then you can take those measurements and apply them to all your bikes. But if you're stuck and you haven't got the, yeah, the access to that, what you can do is just look at what I would say the three main measurements are you should be trying to replicate across your bikes is your saddle height. So if you measure maybe 10 centimeters back from the nose of the saddle, put a mark on the saddle and measure to the bottom bracket, that's your saddle height or one way of measuring it fairly consistently across your bikes. Then look at the tip of the saddle to the handlebars. They can measure that with just with a tape measure and then the tip of the saddle to the top of your hoods. If those positions, those are the contact points where you sit and your hands are, if you do those, one that's a little bit more complicated is the drop to the front, but you have your nice long level, make sure the level's level, and drop a tape measure down there, you can tell the difference between different bikes, um, what, what that drop measure is. Those three are the most important for me, um, and that's my little hit guide to bike replication.